Hey guys, it's Nick or Mr. Golfino and welcome back to another video. Now today I am... The background video is Battlefield 3 and it's a special uh, Battlefield 3 video because I am playing on close quarters. And I forgot what this map is called but I know it resembles that Modern Warfare 2 high rise map. It's like these buildings up in the sky and you just have to find enemies and kill them. Now the reason why I put some close quarters is because this close quarters game is a fast way to level up on XP because everything's super close and action packed. Now I am using the shotgun because I just want to unlock stuff on this shot. Uh, unlock stuff on this shotgun because a lot of other guns in this game we, uh, we don't really use like um, what's it called? There's the uh, the guns that a lot of people use are the AEK, the um, M16A3, guns like that, you know. But, yeah, like the AEK and all that stuff. But, um, guns like uh, the, uh, what's it called, the SPAS-12 or some uh, machine guns, not a lot of people use because they're just underused. Now, I find when you do use these, it, it it's harder to play with them, so it gives you some sort of fun feel to the game and brings back that old Battlefield 3 new feeling again. That feeling is awesome. So uh, yeah, if you haven't watched my last video, I did get a new computer so I can record Battlefield 3 easier now and higher quality. So that's always a boost. And the reason why I did this commentary was to talk about PS4 and Xbox One. Now, I don't think I'll be getting any of these but I decided to talk about them because I'm going to stick with my PC. Because on both consoles, you gotta pay for online right now. I think the PS3 4 is more expensive than the Xbox One, but still, you gotta pay to play online. And uh, that, I don't know, it, they say it fixes up the servers, but the amount of money the console costs, it could probably add up to the servers. I don't know, that's what I'm just, I think of that, so. Like the, the PS3 before, you never used to pay online. That's pro that's mostly why I got a PS3 and not an Xbox 360. Just because of that free online feature. But then again, the Xbox 360's online was better. But uh, for $60 a year, I think it's manageable for this n these new consoles. I think they're like around 60 And yeah. So these new consoles come with new features as well. So they come with the, I think, built-in uh, game recorder, but the thing that sucks is that up to date, like what now they've told us, is that these game recorders can only record 10 minutes. So let's say you're playing a, a Battlefield 3 game of Team Deathmatch. That doesn't last long if it's close quarters. And you get good footage, now you go back on your PS4 or Xbox One, and you go find that footage that you just, just played. Now the thing that's bad about this is that most games aren't 10 minutes long, they're way longer than that. Like if you're playing Campaign, that's for sure not 10 minutes, or Battlefield 3 Conquest, that's not 10 minutes either, or any of other, all the other games like uh, Kill Zone or whatever the other games are called, I don't play those things. Those games, you, you can't, there's not enough time to record in 10 minutes. That's just the downside to it, like if you're gonna add it in, at least make it longer, like at least 30 minutes to an hour, something like that, so someone could record a good gameplay. That's what I think. Something like that. I don't know. That's what I think about the in-game recorder. Now for specs, they both come with 8 gigs of RAM, like my computer. That's another reason why I'm not upgrading. And they come with like a, I don't know what the equivalent is, but a pretty good graphics card. And um, they come with new processors. I think they're like 4 cores now. Quad cores, yeah, quad cores, and that's better because I think the PS, PS3 was like a, a one or a two core, I, I don't know, I'm not into all these specs, I just play the thing. And the same thing with the Xbox One, now a lot of people say the specs are different, well, the only thing I found is that, let's say, they're pretty much all the same, just, let's say the, um, what's it called, the PS4 is uh, bad graphics wise. The Xbox is going to be bad RAM wise, so it brings it down both ways to the equal thing, so they're both exactly the same. I find that pretty cool because before everyone was complaining, oh PS4 has HDMI but Xbox doesn't, and uh, Xbox has this but PS4 doesn't, and a lot of things. Now the new controller looks pretty similar for the PS4 to the old one, and Xbox 2 took, a bit, took it a bit from uh, 
the PS4 controller, but then again, the PS4 took a lot of features from the Xbox and vice versa, so they're all sharing things. Now, I think the Xbox uh, controller is going to be around the same size, if so, that is awesome, and I just hope the PS4 controller is just a bit bigger. I haven't held it yet, I haven't felt how it is. I just hope it's a bit bigger now. If you're still into these um, gaming recording on YouTube or stuff, you could either record on the computer with fraps like I'm doing for free, or you could get an Elgato instead of the built-in ones. Now this Elgato lets you record anything, anytime, as long as you want, I think. And the way it works is that it just plugs into your TV. But again, let's talk about the consoles. Now both consoles have an awesome look, like they look amazing, and it looks smexy, and it's, it just brings back that old 3 feeling again. Now I know there's going to be console wars like PS4 and Xbox One, but I'm pretty sure everyone has matured now. They were all kids before, now we're all adolescents, and uh, the console wars, probably not, but they could be over since it's around the same specs. The only thing I find that differentiates both of them is the some of the featured games. Like a, one game I want is Titanfall, but it has it on the PC, so I'm not even going to bother. I just get it on the PC. And Titanfall isn't on the PS3. PS4, sorry. But then there's other PS4 games like, uh, let's say there's a new God of War or something. That won't be on the Xbox for what I know. And uh, that's the only thing that differentiates both. The specs are the same. Everything inside them are the same. It's like having the two same systems. It's like a, a, a car or a graphics card. Let's say you have a 660 from Asus or a 660 from uh, EVGA. They're both the same thing. They've been just minorly tweaked and the tweaks are just unnoticeable. It's not even worth the bargain to complain and all that. But yeah, so. That was what I think about the consoles and uh, how they're going to work. So if you guys like this video, please leave a like down below. It always makes me feel special. And remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.